Okay, fresh from stage, fresh from performing over there, are my favourite band ever from the Wirral, the Sundowners. How are we guys? Good, thanks. Yeah, are you good. buzzing from that performance? Yeah, yeah it's fun. Good. Good. Yeah. Enjoy nice it. to play in the sun as well. We've got a good day. It's a good day today. The it sun is shining. Great. The yeah. atmosphere like, is here. Like yeah, yeah. Spend some here, dingy little downstairs club. But I know. You spend half your life inside the dark, dark cold <laughs> venue. <laughs> really? I don't want to know what you get up to in the dark. <laughs> Tell me about Sound City though, because look at this. This is incredible, isn't it? Yeah, what it is. Festival. Well, what, what they've done, it's really good. Love that, the, the warehouse stage, but um, yeah, it's boss. When we were playing, I was looking out at the view and I was just thought, this is hot. Amazing. Really is it busy good. when you were performing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More than we, we expected. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the Sundowners then, because let's go back for anyone that doesn't know. You are doing big, big things now. Um, your album is out, released in February. Yeah. Um, the name, the Sundowners, is, is getting known far and wide. Big festivals this year. Yeah. yeah. Tell us about the beginning, how it all started. It's just us two playing acoustic, doing covers there in West Kirby, just where we live, just going around and then caught the attention of Alfie and James, we own his brothers. And they were like, we need two singers for a band. This well, is one. obviously James, Well, Gary, we wanted Alfie's one Kelly. and we were just like, well. A double two. package, yeah. <laughs> and does James, um, does James look after you? He nurtures you and he's, he's kind of your, your mentor, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Manager slash producer, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, we're all like a close family, you know. Everyone on Skeleton Key, we all help each other out. Anyone, even all the bands, you know. Uh, like Ian, Ian helps out with videos and the artwork and... Uh, and you know, we got She Drew the Gun supporting us and Marvin Powell supporting us on our tour. So we're like a close knit family and we try and like, you know, all just support each other. Yeah. So we all play on each other's records as well. So yeah. it's like a creative hub, which is great. You know, you're not like pigeonholed to just stick in with the same thing. We can all like experiment and go out, go out and help each other out, which is good. It can be, it can be like tough loving off James and Ian though sometimes. Yeah. Can't yeah. It? <laughs> Yeah. Jim, what about, what about tough with working with the girls? Obviously you and Jim, are these hard work you can have, buddy? <laughs> Three lads, we're Sam, Beavers. And what about the rider list today? I've heard that you've had, like, pink M&Ms. <laughs> you wanted to be driven in by a pink limousine. Oh, you've had yeah, a full-on yeah. rider Bloody like that. Bloody great is that what you got? They only want you, they vodka, and that's oh, it. I want vodka, and I'm happy. Give us some vodka. <laughs> and in terms of the gig, um, um, you know, what you've done today, um, you're happy with that? You're going to enjoy yourselves now? Is, is it all over now? Work's over? You can go and play? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to yeah. go and get play smashed. Dad. Yeah. Defo play time. <laughs> well, thank you for chatting, and we want you on the show soon doing a special, oh, yeah, special Defo. session for us. Oh, cheers. Thanks for doing Sound City, oh, the nice Sundowners, one. on the guy.